Hey, this is Girls Pat's Elite channel, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can change the theme for your iTunes. Um, if I open up iTunes right now, like so, this is what it looks like. And um, basically, I don't think you want your iTunes to like this. This is the original. I'm using Windows Vista. You can get a theme for Mac as well. Um, so, this is what it looks like. It's always is grey. Pretty boring. I want a theme. So I'm going to show you guys on how to get one. So I'm going to exit off my iTunes. If it's going to close. There we go. And now what you do is um, I'm going to go to my music because I have a folder in here called theme. And you want to head towards this website. The link will be in the description. And here it is. And basically, um, if you look down here, um, somewhere down here, there's a link for the. There's one for iTunes 9, iTunes 10. Um, I can't find it, but there is a link somewhere for. There it is. How to make. Um, no. Somewhere along there, somewhere around here is a link for the Mac version. Um, if I, if you, you can't find it, I'll get a link towards it and put it in the description. But this is what it will do, make it look really cool and black. And what you do is just click download file and you download it and save it. I'm not going to save it because I've already got it. Then once you have saved it, um, everything in this folder will be in it except from that right there though. No? I just have a link to the internet just in case there's an update for iTunes. Um, so basically it will look like this in a archive file in a in a dot raw file right there, you just right click and extract it, and all this stuff we put in from here to here. And now, what you can do is you then just click on the silent night um, iTunes.exe to change the theme to the night die one, like the um, um, silent night, sorry, um, one, or you can just use this to click to the original. I recommend keeping all these files and backing up in your music folder or somewhere. So if you want to change it to original when you can, and also if you have an update, then of course you'll, it will get rid of the theme. Um, if the theme does mess up your iTunes, just uninstall it and reinstall it again. Um, this works for iTunes. Um, so that's for iTunes 10.5.1. That's the recent latest version out. Um, if you did notice the website, it does say which one that it's available for. And to find what you, I'll show you how to find out what type of iTunes you have in a second. But what you want to do is, um, oh yeah, I'm um, also in the minimizing bar on the bottom, how you minimize it. Um, for some reason doesn't work for me, um, even if I did leave it on original. But if you want to change it, you just open the iTunes taskbar player, choose your different type, there's a backup if you need it. And you basically choose what type of computer I have, I have 32 bin, you can just copy this. But for some reason it doesn't work for me. Um, so I'm going to go back. Um, there is a read being there on how to do it. But basically, what you do, silent um, night iTunes.exe, click on it, this will pop up. Make sure you select where you've saved your iTunes, it should already be put, already selected. Um, if it isn't, choose browser for it, but just install it. Then uh, just allow it to pop up, pops up. Let's hit install, installing, 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 done. Now iTunes should open up automatically and there you go. There's your nice iTunes theme. It replaces um, not this part of the background, but it replaces all this around it. All with this nice dark theme. The buttons even change up here. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I think my iTunes is yeah, my iTunes is frozen, I think. Oh no, it hasn't. So my computer goes a quick bit laggy when recording. Um there we go. Um, and everything's fine. In this background behind my apps, um, I don't think it'll be grey. I think it'll be white. So you have to change it. And I, it's in one of these options somewhere up here. I can't remember. I think it's in advanced somewhere. Um, I don't know. Um, I can't remember. Um, but that's basically how you do it. Just close it off. And if you want to change it back, just revert to the original. Because that's what I did to then start this video off. Okay, guys. Remember to keep this folder safe. Um, also. If you want to get the um, old traffic light version where all the like all the buttons are down the side on the left, you can once you've installed the main theme, you can just click on 
old traffic lights.exe to install the um like sort of add on extra if you want the buttons to be on the left hand side instead like the Mac. Um I will put links in the description remember to rate, comment and subscribe and for thanks for watching the Scott Fat State channel and see ya.